Greetings, I'm Kisha Andre Kunako Calde from BSEC1 and the topic that I chose to be tackled in this video is about Boron and its application to cancer treatment. So before we start, I would like to outline first the three major points I have chosen to be delivered, to be discussed, to be scrutinized here in this video. The first one is, this will help us reinforce our knowledge and understanding about Boron or Boron 10 specifically. And of course, cancer and cancer treatment. The second is how Boron is being applied to cancer treatment. And the third one is the advantages and disadvantages of using Boron in cancer treatment. Okay, so first, let us tackle the boron chemistry. Boron is represented by the letter B in our periodic table of element. Boron is hard and brittle semi-metallic element with atomic number 5. Boron is in group 13 or group 3A in the periodic table. It originates from Big Bang, which is considered as a galactic event in our solar system. The most accepted theory and formation of the universe. As well as the formation of lithium and beryllium. Compounds of boron, notably borax, have been known ever since the early times, but the pure elements was first prepared in 1800s by the French chemist Joseph Galesac and Barillus Thennard and independently by the British chemist Sir Henry Davy. Henry Mosen produced pure boron way back here 1892, which has a percentage of 98% purity ranks about 38 in natural abundance among the elements in Earth's crust. Boron does not react with acid. It has a reactivity that depends on its form. Physical properties of boron. It is much more reactive as powder than in crystalline form. Boron is not toxic in nature. It is also used in making strong magnets which is a part in every microphones, loudspeakers, headphones, switches, etc. Boron is very hard, colorless, crystalline, metalloid element that exists as brown amorphous powder and occur principally as borax. Boron does not react with water. However, for boron compounds, boron salts are generally well water soluble and having a water solubility of 57 grams per liter some boron compounds such as boron nitrite are completely water insoluble cancer is the uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells which invade and destroy other tissues cancer develops in most almost in your organ or tissue in the body but certain types of cancer are more life-threatening than others. Cancer rates varies by gender, race, and geographic region. History of Cancer In 19th century, Rudolf Feiko recognized that the cancerous cells are derived from other cells. There, he believed that abnormalities in lymphatic system, which then happened to be the reason why he ended up with the theory. Other theories described cancer as by the trauma, parasite that spreads more likely as squid. Later, at around 28 to 50 PC, translated the Greek term into cancer, Latin word for crop. It was Galen, another Roman physician, who used the term oncus, Greek word for swelling, by which it described tumors. Oncology is the study of cancers, which originally rooted from the word oncus. History of BNCT In 1938, first radiobiological study was carried out by using neutron and borantan reaction at the University of Illinois. In 1960s, 
Japan confirmed that BNCT or boron neutron capture therapy has advantages for patients' treatment of certain cancers by comparing between BNCT and conventional chemoimmunoradiotherapy. So, what are the causes of cancers? These are some of them. By exposure to carcinogens, tobacco smokes, diet, pathogens, radiation, environmental and occupational chemicals, hereditary factors, steroid hormones, and population demographics. How do cancers develop? It is when our safety systems fails, when proto omnigens turns to oncogens. Tumor suppressor genes stop working. Cell cycle clock malfunctions and cell achieve its immortality. Now let's move up to how boron is used in cancer treatment. Boron is used to treat cancer because of its ability to absorb nutrient where all tumor cells were selectively destroyed without damaging normal tissues. Boron has several important applications in the field of atomic energy. Because of its high absorption of nutrients, it is employed as a control absorber in nuclear reactors and as a constituent material of nutrient shields. Boron-10 is attracted to cancer cells. So, as you can see, this is the chemical equation of the application of boron in cancer treatment. So, boron-10 absorbs nutrients and it produces boron-11. Boron-11 is too dangerous and too heavy. Therefore, it breaks up to lithium-7 and an alpha particle which then kills the cancer cells. And it is not dangerous for the healthy cells because it only takes about a cell distance. Therefore, it doesn't damage the healthy cells. BNCT proposed to treat patients with lobastoma multiforme or GBMs. It is a type of malignant tumor in brain involving the glial cells. 52% is functional brain tissues and 20% is intracranial tumors. BNCT accumulates 3 to 5 times more parent cells than those normal cells. Patient is injected with the non-radioactive isotope boron-10, which concentrates in the tumor cells. The boron in the tumor is irradiated with low-energy nutrients, which causes it to emit high-energy alpha particles, which kills cancer cells. By the decay of boron atom, helium-4 nuclei or the alpha particle and lithium-7 ion then kills the tumor cells. Advantages of BNCT or boron neutron capture therapy It only takes for only about 3 days. Other cancer treatments may last for 30 sessions or like 6 weeks of treatment. It has no side effects. There has been no reports of some negative side effects after boron nutrient capture therapy sessions. Also, it doesn't have high traumatic surgical operations upon the process of killing the cancer cells. Disadvantages of PNCT. It is more complex. With regards to biological effects, Fast nutrient therapy is more complex than conventional radio chemotherapy. It highly focuses to high-grade lomas and melanomas, most recently the head, neck, liver, and lung cancers. In my conclusion, scientists do not completely understand the causes of cancer. But they know that certain lifestyle choices can reduce the risk of developing many types of cancers, such as at indulging yourself to smoking, giving yourself a healthy eating diet, and having enough amount of sleep, and exercising moderately for at least 30 minutes each day can lower the likelihood of developing cancer. PNCT is a combination of chemistry, biology, nuclear technology, 
and medicine to treat malignant and recurrent head, liver, lung, and neck cancer. Having a healthy lifestyle will definitely get you out of cancer risk. And having those vices with you will surely put you to certain risk that can lead you to death. Thank you.